Hi there, in this video we're looking at the falling three methods pattern as available from the lizardindicators.com premium section. This is a uh, bearish five bar continuation pattern where the first bar is a down close large body bar and the second, third and fourth candles are small bodies or up closes they all need to close inside the range of the first bar so we see a low going below the range of the first candle here but it closes within the range same with this one high goes beyond the range but it closes within the range and then the fifth bar is a continuation then of the first candle this is also a large body bar and obviously also a down close and important uh, final requirement here is that the close of this final bar has to be below the close of the first bar. So those are the requirements for the falling three methods pattern. We'll now go into the chart and uh, have a look at uh, how you can adjust the requirements. Here we have a uh, picture perfect uh, falling three methods pattern, large down close here, large bar, small body bars also being up closes and um, then a continuation with a close below the close of the first one. Later on we see a additional falling three methods pattern here. And so uh, if you go into the indicator dialog box, we can talk a little bit about uh, how the small body bar and the large body bar is um, calculated. You see here we have a reference period. It's looking at the 250 last bars, finding out what the average size of the bar is and then you can set the max small body candle size. So this is a um, factor of 0 0.6 of the average. And likewise, the minimum requirement for being considered a large body candle by default set to 1.2. So if you tighten the requirement, you could, for example, set uh, this uh, to 0 0.2 and the large body bar has to be 1.6 and if you hit apply here you see that this pattern both both patterns have now disappeared from the chart and um, that is because the requirements are more restrictive than the default settings and so by setting it back to the default we will see the patterns reappear at least one of them i think uh, i had a default here of 0 0.6 and so if we set it back to 0 0.6 this one is also permitted as being a falling three method pattern all right so uh, with that i'm uh, concluding this video on the falling three methods pattern the counterpart to this um, bearish pattern is the rising three methods. Here we see that. So that is the exact inverse plotting in a uptrend and um, large body bar, three small bars or down closes and a continuation of close large body bar. And so those will plot then bullish patterns and um, one thing that I did uh, forget to mention here is that do not have to define them as continuation patterns in the indicator dialog box. You can also set them to plot in a uptrend or have them plot in both up and down trends. And the trend itself is defined by a internal swing trend um, indicator you can set the patterns to occur with the trend or against the trend continuation patterns versus reversal patterns 
So with that, I'll conclude again the intro to the following three methods. If you have any questions uh, for me, feel free to reach out via the contact form over at Lizard Indicators or send me an email at info at lizardindicators.com. In the meantime, take care and bye-bye.